Don't let your current situation affect your destination. This world is here to tear you down. There are people assigned to discourage you. But you have to keep going forward. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep going after your dreams and after your goals and after your purpose. Even if you don't know your purpose, you must keep going. Change your mindset. I know this current situation that you're in, you may not see an end of the tunnel. You may not see how you're gonna overcome this. You may not see how things can get better, but I guarantee you they will. Just thank God because of the situation, because once you overcome this, you will look back and laugh at what you had to go through. What stressed you out will make you laugh once you get to your purpose. You may not always feel like it, but you're blessed. You may not always think that things are gonna go right, but they will. The way your situation's gonna change, the way your life will change, the way your career will change, the way your marriage can change is by changing your mindset. It can change because you change. Your thought process changes and you can change your situation. You can live without a lot of things that are stretching you out. What is really stressing you out is thinking about not being successful, thinking about not doing what you wanna do, thinking about not accomplishing things that you want to accomplish, trying to satisfy others and not yourself. There comes a moment in everyone's life where you make the decision that you're tired of being tired and no matter what or who, I want to achieve my greatness. I don't care about anybody else. I don't care about if you like me or not. I don't care if you look up to me or not. I don't care if you believe in me or not. I will reach my goal. I will reach my dreams. I will live out my purpose. And I won't let you stop. Every day, you have another opportunity to change, to be better than you were the day before. I know you may not be the best person, you may not be the best husband or wife. You may not be the best son or daughter. You may not be the best student in your class or your student in college or, 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 or businessman or businesswoman. You may not be the best, but once you strive for greatness and strive to be who you're supposed to be, you'll be great. You'll be the greatest you that you can be. Don't try to be me, be you. That's what God created you for, to be the all you can be. There was a guy a once named Michael Jordan. And, and, and when Michael Jordan, at the end of the year, he would win, he would win what's called the shooting contest. And so throughout the whole year, he might have averaged 32 points. And he, he had the most points of any other basketball player as it relates to points in the game. But because Michael Jordan scored 32, he made millions more than everybody else because he was the top as it relates to scoring. But for those of us who know about uh, the game of basketball in America, for, for each shot is worth two points. So in actuality, Michael Jordan only scored one more, possibly, possibly, and I don't think he did, two more baskets a game than the average person. But this guy was a millionaire and made more money than anybody else because of one shot. No, I need you to understand this. He was known around the world as one of the most popular athletes in the world has made more money hand over foot than any athlete in the world why not because he made 10 more shots not because he made five more shots the guy only made one or two more shots a game over the course of his career than everybody else and he's better makes more money lived a better life than everybody because he sacrificed enough to get those one or two shots and i'm telling you you're not where you want to be financially and it's not going to take 20 shots you are not where you want to be in your marriage and it's not going to take 20 shots. You are not where you want to be in your personal life. You are not the person you want to be and it's not going to take you 20 shots. For some of you, it's one more shot. For some of you, it's two more shots. 
and you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. And if you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dream dreaming and start living it. Imagine if you got what you want every time. No struggle, no hard work, no challenges, no hard work required. Some of you are saying that would be great. You would be weak. And then when something hard comes up in your life, you wouldn't know how to handle it because you have never gone through anything that strengthens you. You cannot grow without struggle. You cannot develop strength without resistance, without challenging yourself, without struggle. Pain is your friend. Maybe not in the moment, but for the evolution of your soul, for the long-term benefit of you as a stronger human being, pain is your friend. If you didn't have failures, if you didn't have struggles, if you didn't have disappointment, you could have no strength, no courage, no compassion. How could you? Those qualities are made from your pain and struggle. You are given pain because you are strong enough to handle it. You are given this life because you are strong enough to live it. Because you are strong enough to drive through it, to thrive through it, to inspire others through it. They will look to you and say, he did it. She did it. I have the strength to do it too. You are stronger than you think. You survived all your challenges to this point and you will survive whatever is coming. But next time a struggle comes, I don't want you to curse the skies. Know that it was sent for a reason and a lesson. It might be to make you stronger. It might be to teach you patience. It might be for you to show others your spirit. There is a reason. So don't you give up. You have a purpose in this world and you will only find it if you keep going and keep growing. Your struggle is a part of your story. Your struggle made you the person you are today. Your struggle is your life. Your struggle is your gift. See, many people look at struggle like it's a bad thing. Your struggle will be the gift that the world falls in love with. Nobody wants to hear the story of the man that was given everything. People want to hear the stories of men and women that endured pain and turned their struggles into a gift. Do you want people just to feel sorry for you? Or you want people to look up to you? Do you want to be a legend because legends are born in the valley of struggle. Fear is only a fictional movie, but reality is the struggle. Reality is the struggle. So take the struggle and change your reality because the whole time you were thinking that your struggle was holding you back, it was really giving you the tools to become one of the greatest. No more second guessing. No more blaming others for the problems you have in your life. It's a new day. This is my one way ticket to my dreams. Your struggle is your gift.